and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be talking about how Pedro Pascal is getting cancelled by the woke mob because, of course, all of these weirdos, nothing is ever good enough for them. They love you one second, and the next second they're cancelling you. The second you step out of line, you're getting cancelled, you are done. So, why is this happening with Pedro Pascal? They had no problem with all of the stuff that he said, you know, back before the election because he is on their side or the side that they deem right and they've had absolutely no problem with crucifying Gina Carano and canceling Gina Carano and Gina Carano is the embodiment of all evil and Pedro Pascal, yes, Queen Slay! But now because he promoted a movie that he was in, because it's associated with somebody that they have deemed as bad, uh, that they are currently trying to cancel, they want to cancel him for promoting a movie that he was in. So, if you see here up on the screen, if you are looking uh, at the video, here it is. It's Pedro Pascal, and this is his tweet. It says, she's like a rainbow. Hashtag Wonder Woman 1984 back on HBO Max at Gal Gadot and at Patty Jenkins. Now, again, he is in this movie. He is the villain of this movie. So, him promoting a movie that he's in and tagging the star of the movie and the director of the movie doesn't seem like a cancel offense, right? I mean, I don't think canceling is right ever, but in this situation, it's like, so he's promoting the movie that he's in, that it's back on HBO Max? What's wrong with that? You would ask, like a normal person is like, why is this a cancelable offense? Well, so what happened on May 12th was Gal Gadot posted this about her home country because right now there's a lot of issues going on in Israel. I don't want to talk about any of that. I don't like politics on my channel. And honestly, I don't know very much about the situation. All I know is that she tweeted this and people lost their mind and want to cancel her. And she's gotten a lot of heat from it. And I believe the hashtag fire Gal Gadot was trending and people are calling her all kinds of names, saying all these terrible things about her when, I mean, all she... I, Again, I don't know what's going on in the situation, but what from what I read from this is that she wants peace on both sides. So maybe I'm just not, I don't have all the information, but it, it didn't seem like that bad. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't seem bad that she's wishing peace for people. It, it says, I pray for better days. I mean, she, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what more these people want from celebrities, but apparently you have to conform to everything that the woke mob and all of the weirdos on Twitter want, or else you are the embodiment of all evil and they want you canceled. So she did a no-no, so she's getting canceled. Now, Pedro Pascal, because he tweeted this, again, it's a movie that he is in. He plays Maxwell Lord in this movie. Because he is promoting a movie he's in, and he tagged Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins, he is now getting cancelled. Nothing is ever good enough for these people. They went and bullied him and Gina Carano for months to put pronouns in their bio. Guess who bent the knee? He did. He put pronouns in his bio. Gina put beep bop boop cancelled because she's a transphobe. It's like, well, that doesn't, beep bop boop doesn't equal transphobia. But does that matter to them? No, they don't care about any of that. They don't care about facts. They don't even care that this is a movie that he is in. That he is tweeting about a movie. He is in, and I have to keep reiterating that because it's blowing my fucking mind. But so as you can see, people are really upset. The hashtag fire Pedro Pascal was trending. And I mean, over 2,000 quote tweets of people losing their mind trying to cancel Pedro Pascal. Again, for promoting a movie he is in. The insanity just blows my mind. But we are going to go look at some of these extreme tweets. Because I just want to show you just the craziness that these weirdos will stoop to. So let's check out these tweets. Hashtag zero respect that this man is going to play Joel Miller in the upcoming hashtag last of us. I don't want to see him as my favorite character after his support for hashtag Gal Gadot. Hashtag canceled Pedro Pascal. Whee! Now this is translated, but it says, You believe you deserve death of the mountain. Your death. Your mom's pussy. Pedro, this ain't it. 
thinking of watching the golden circle so I can watch you go through the meat grinder in the end now. Men ain't shit. Petra Pascal is a disgusting, Islamophobic piece of shit who supports Gal Gadot's Zionist ass puking. Hashtag fire Petra Pascal. Hashtag Petra Pascal is a Zionist. Embarrassing! I hope you enjoyed my dramatic reading and for whatever reason, Twitter must be censoring uh, Pedro Pascal's Twitter and especially that uh, <laughs> that tweet thread because even though there's over 2,000 quote tweets, it's only allowing me to see now 13. I did see more when this initially happened, but that was before I started recording to make my video. So there is actually another fantastic video out there. It is made by the one and only Drunk 3 po So if you guys want to see more before Twitter decided to censor it and stop showing all of the quote tweets for whatever reason, I guess they're uh, going out of their way to protect Pedro Pascal, even though they didn't show the same courtesy to Genia. Uh, I guess chivalry is dead. But so if you guys want to go see more and see for yourself some of the even more horrific things that they were saying about Pedro Pascal, I will link Drunk 3 pos video uh, in the description of this video. If you guys go down and click in the description, you will see the link and it'll say in big bold letters, click this to see the rest of the Pedro Pascal tweets. Uh, so this is over again on Drunk 3 po channel, my very good friend. And so he has the video and if you uh, cannot find the link in the description of this video, it is time titled over on the Drunk 3PO channel. It says Pedro Pascal gets the woke Twitter treatment. And so this is him going through all of the quote tweets. So if you guys want to see more, that is where it is. I just think it's absolutely bizarre. I mean, they're going out of their way to protect Pedro. And as you guys can see right here, it says over 2,000 quote tweets. Now I've checked. This is not a deleted tweet. It, it, I've never had this happen before where I go to go and look at quote tweets and it stops. It, it stops showing me them and I'll show you guys right here as I scroll through them. Now again, I was scrolling through before I decided to film this video and looking at these and I was just horrified, but as you can see, it just stops. They show about 13 of them and then it, it just stops showing it, and which is bizarre considering there's over 2,000 quote tweets and that number mysteriously stopped changing as well. And this is not a deleted tweet. So it's funny. It's funny how uh, the second somebody that's on their team, you know, their side of the political spectrum, the second something bad happens to them, they gotta protect him. But, oh, Gina? Even though they're all for the forces female, hashtag believe all women, hashtag me too, protect all women, rah! Uh, but the second a woman isn't uh, of the, the right thing, she is of the wrong thing. They're totally fine with dragging her through the mud, but then somebody like Pedro Pascal, who literally compared half of the United States of America to Nazis, uh, he's okay. He's getting canceled by the woke mob, but guess what? They're, they're going to protect him because he is, you know, what they have deemed on the right side. So uh, I just thought it was kind of hypocritical and ironic, but I just wanted to share this with all of you. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And again, if you guys want to see more of those tweets, go over to Drunk3PO's channel. Check out his video where he goes through and reads a majority of them. Anyways, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye everyone! Hey everyone, if you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Etsy, where I sell prints of my original oil paintings and drawings that range from horror villains, heroes, and your favorite Star Wars characters. I also have an art channel uh, where I post time lapses and tutorials, and also if you want to see work in progresses, I also have an Instagram dedicated specifically to that. Then finally, you can check out my Teespring, for wearable merch and all platforms are listed down below in the description of this video. So thank you so much everyone and have a great rest of your day.